guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, October 10th. <laughs> I can't forget the day. I noticed that um, October, the beginning of October is uh, boring, but it's not until like the middle of the month and on that all the fun Halloween things starting get started. But anyways, today's not about that. Today is about a finished object that I have and a, some, a whip that I want to update you on. Whatever. Show you the progress. <laughs> so I made a finished object and it's a cute Halloween decoration, of course. Um, I found it on Instagram one day. Let me, I got my notes right here. Um, the Instagram is, I'm going to try to link it below, it is uh, at sign, you know, the user handle thingy, crochet bap, B-A-P. And I'm going to try to um, link that down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, so it was a free pattern on there. And I actually messed it up, but I'll talk about it in a second. So here it is. It's called Bucky the Ghost. <laughs> Look at his little pumpkin hat. I love the little pumpkin hat. That's what sold me on making it. I like the little smile. It's so cute. This is just yarn, but I really need to go to Dollar Tree and get a little um, blush to start putting blush on my Amigurumi's actual blush. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is Bucky. And I count. That's the one. So, the yarns I used is Red Heart Super Saver White and Carrot. And this is a little tiny bit of, what is that B word yarn? Uh... <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It was good to me. It's like Bernat Basic, maybe. Is that what it's called? And it's a brown color. Um, I made his stem out of it. A little bit of black. And I made his nose. His, his nose is yarn. Because I didn't have the right size safety nose. I gotta order some of those. And then this is just a little piece of pink uh, scrap. And his little feet. <laughs> but, um, so it is a free pattern. You start with the ghost. And his little ruffles is part of him. And then his feet are separate and his hat is separate. And the little stem is, but you put it on the hat before you sew the hat on. But what I messed up is his ruffles. I read the pattern and I didn't, like, I didn't process it. I thought maybe the pattern was messed up. So I did it the way I thought that it meant. And then when I read the next part of the pattern, I was like, oh, okay. There's supposed to be two layers of ruffle. But the way I, I did it, I could only put one. So he's still cute. But with the double ruffle, it's really cute too. Because, like, the first ruffle is bigger. And then there's, like, a little ruffle under it. Um, if I can think to insert a picture, I will. Um, so if I make another one of these, I will do it the right way. <laughs> but um, I still think it turned out super cute. I think if I make another one, I might use like a pale yellow. I think I have some red heart. I think it's called like daffodil or something like that. Or corn meal or something like that. <laughs> it's like a pale yellow. It's not pale yellow because pale yellow is like a weird color. But it's like a paler yellow. <laughs> but it would look like a gourd is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it would be cute to do with those colors too. Not just orange, but a gourd color would be cute too. Anyways, he's adorable. I love him. I used a G hook, I think. Nope, I used an L hook at 3.75 millimeter. And yeah, and it's free pattern on Instagram. Like I said, I will try to for sure link it below uh, if I can get it to do it the right way. But I think I might actually make it so I can try to do the ruffle the way they the pattern wrote it. And uh, you know, it'd be cute to have two little ghosty little buddies sitting around. <laughs> but so that was my finished object I want to share with you guys. And then my whip is the sweat the baby sweater that I was working on. It's getting there. Uh, this is called the Hurry Down Pullover, and it's a free download by Yarn Inspirations. It comes in a 6-month size and a 12-month size. And uh, it's actually pretty easy sweater, so it'd probably be easy to make it in other sizes as well. Now this I am using a G-hook. It is a 4mm G-hook. Um, and the yarn I'm using is Lana Brown Ice Cream, but I still forgot to write down the color. But here it is. It's getting there. Hold on, it's a little sideways. Straight it out. So there's the front of it. And I'm working on the brim. I've done two rows. I've got to do three more rows of... Is it, what is it called? The bottom of the sweater. Hem? The hem? Whatever that's called. <laughs> i got to do three more rows of it. And then I will attach to tell you to do the arms. So my first ball, it was like a half-used skein that I got gifted to me from Connie. Uh, when we did that meetup recently. So I, I had to uh, wind up in a ball because it got tangly. Um, but I do have another full ball. So I have plenty enough to... Um, make this little sweater and have some leftover but the back of it does have a seam which I'm not too thrilled about I hate seams but it's the back of a sweater so no one cares <laughs> but it's just a little baby sweater that I'm making for June and I'm pretty excited about it it's coming out really cute it's supposed to be a 12 month size but I feel like it might be a little big um I don't know I'll just have to wait till she gets older and try it on her <laughs> but uh she'll be 12 months at the end of January so it'll be cool you know so she'll still be able to wear a sweater I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's turned out really cute. So like I said, I'm almost done with the body. And then I just got to attach and do the arms. And it'll be done. 
So I'll link that below too. It is a free PDF download from your inspirations. Um, and I remembered to look up the name today, and it's the Hurry Down Pullover. And it's by your inspirations. But yeah, I already said that. <laughs> but that's what I was doing uh, yesterday. I was working on this. I got, I don't know, where I showed it to you the other day, it was like right here. So I got all that done, and then half of the brim, brim, him, whatever, <laughs> that part done. And then, um, where am I going to go? Right and then I made him the other day. I was just waiting to share him with you guys because he's so cute. I think he's adorable. But um, anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and share that with you guys. I'm getting ready to finish up the Halloween bags today. Uh, they're going to the shop later today at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I just got to put the drawstrings in and then like all at once over to get all the little random threads I forgot to snip off off of there and then i will be getting them in the shop for you guys later today so check them out if you're interested i think there's uh 12 some of them are by themselves and some are sets and then in the next week week and a half two weeks sometime whenever i get to work on them, there'll be some fall prints going in the shop and then i might go ahead and start making winter things with regular like do like half update christmas and winter because i know some people like to shop early and then the other um half like you know just regular prints so yeah, I was going through my fabric the other day and I got a lot of it. I need to, like, start using it up really good. But anyways, I don't want to say I'm blab. That's what vlogs are for. <laughs> I will see you guys later today in that vlog, but it'll actually be tomorrow that you see it. But whatever. Point is, I'll see you guys later in another video. Bye, guys.